No, my phone went on the burner. Oh no. What? This is my natural color, actually. I can see two eyeballs floating around. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How is this supposed to be boba? I also wanted to pop in and let you know as a huge thank you for 400,000 subscribers. The new merch has officially launched. We got the classic PNP, we got the classic frog vibes, and we have the all new what are you craving design on a hoodie and a t-shirt. We got a whole bunch of new colors for you to pick from on every hoodie and shirt. And we have my favorite, the limited edition I Heart Frog embroidered cap and beanie. These are limited time only until May 13th so make sure that you snag one before time runs out because once they're gone they're gone head over to crowdmate.com slash collection slash rocky crossing or just click the link in my description to snag yourself some merch thank you guys so much for the support and again for 400k and now on to this very chaotic video Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. I know what you're saying. I know, I know. You're saying, Raven, every time you put out a cooking video, it never ends well and it's a total chaotic disaster. The other half, I should probably take the sticker off, but it's too late. Uh, very carefully combine all of this and just spill it all over the counter. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. There's just no thought behind his eyes whatsoever. Oh my god! I know! I know! But I'm hoping that today it's gonna be at least a little bit different because we're not really like cooking anything complicated or baking like an entire cake or anything like that. Today we are gonna be making boba tea and you guys actually have gotten me into boba. I was always too scared to try boba tea before, but I started trying some and I've been a huge fan of like fruity teas and just like fun boba teas. I really love popping boba, that's what I'm obsessed with now. So today I'm gonna be trying to make froggy boba um so hopefully it comes out good we make some froggy crossing boba tea i did have to order some supplies for this because i did not have anything really i got some tapioca starch this is like the main ingredient i also ordered some boba tea straws because i mean of course we gotta drink our boba out of a straw and I figured I would get some metal ones just so I can keep them and reuse them for forever. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to be drinking homemade boba even after this. Because I also ordered some green popping boba. You can see it in there. Ooh, I'm, I'm so excited. I normally get strawberry and this is kiwi. So this is a new flavor for me. Very excited about that. So I do have to use this up, you know? So we gotta make, you know, we gotta make a lot of boba tea after this. And then also in the recipe, it calls for sugar. So I just have like regular Aldi sugar. The recipe said you could use whatever kind of sugar. And then I also have some green food coloring really guys and i don't have like black or brown for the eyes like food coloring but i have these edible food pens that i use for my cookie video but so yeah that's pretty much the ingredients um i i guess let's get started i'm gonna put my hair up because i don't want hairy boa you know no thank you okay there we go good enough and then i also have my apron i got a new one um, around Valentine's Day at Target. I haven't even used it yet, so here's a good excuse to use it, you know? It just has like a Velcro strap. That's very interesting. Oh, heck yeah. Also, I'm sorry if you hear my cats. Oh. Oh, nice. I got a notification from CVS. We're good to go. I don't know how much an apron will be needed for this video, but it's better safe than sorry. <laughs> okay, so first we just have to mix everything together. So a tablespoon of tapioca starch, eighth a cup of water, eighth a cup of sugar. Okay. <laughs> what is an eighth a cup? Let's open up this bad boy. Ooh. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I expected. Let's try to be exact, because I feel like this is something where you have to be pretty exact. There we go. And then for the other ingredients, it's two tablespoons each. So two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of water. So let's do the sugar first. Okay, so there's one and there's two. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Now let's do two tablespoons of water. One and <laughs> two. Okay. Get a spoon. Let's get a spoon. We're gonna mix this bad boy. This doesn't seem like it's making a good consistency. Why are there clumps? So it pretty much just looks like 
milk. <laughs> Let's see what the recipe says to do. So next, it says to peach, get out of the sink. Okay, so next it says to microwave for one minute intervals. So let's do that. I hope these bowls are microwave safe. I don't know. I hope they are. I'm kinda hungry. I'm so sad. I ran out of hummus for my pretzel crisps. This is not the same. ready. It's really hot. <laughs> Let's not burn ourselves because that is not good. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this necessarily. I'm really scared. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, this, this actually might be what we needed. It actually looks just like hers in the video, so I'm actually not as scared anymore. <laughs> okay, I think now we add some more tapioca starch. So I'm gonna add like two and a half tablespoons. Here is the first one. Good thing I wore the apron. Uh, th this is going everywhere. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this around. I'm just gonna dump it onto the parchment. I'm just gonna knead it, I guess. <laughs> also, I washed my hands before this, don't worry. And I'm the only one who's gonna be drinking this anyways, so I don't mind drinking my own germs. I don't know if this is like the right <laughs> consistency. It's like breaking apart and snapping. It's still a little bit gummy-y. I think it probably has to cool. This really doesn't look right. Like, is this the correct <laughs> texture? I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm getting the starch everywhere. Ah! <laughs> but I want it to stick together. It's like not sticking together <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Ah, please stick together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I don't even know what I did, but I'm sorry. I honestly don't know at this point. I truly don't. How is this supposed to be boba? I'm going to let this one sit because in the video at least she did come back after an hour and it looked better. So I'm gonna let this sit and I think in the meantime <laughs> I'm also gonna try a different recipe just in case because maybe I didn't do the ratios right following her recipe because she doubled it. So I found another recipe that we're gonna try. Um, this one involves boiling on the stove. So <laughs> uh, let's see how this will work. We might. I'd rather have two failures instead of just one. Then I really know that it's me, not the tapioca starch. Okay, so first we have to combine water and it says Taiwanese brown sugar, but I don't have that. So I'm hoping that American white sugar is good enough. Um, combine water and brown sugar in a saucepan and bring it to a boil. Okay, let's get out of pot. I have this little baby one. <laughs> and then it says five tablespoons of sugar and then three fourths of a cup of tapioca flour. Get out of the pantry. Cats are just like swarming me. What do you want? Hello, can I help you? What? Okay, you want boba too? We have to do the sugar. Ah! So that's one, two, three, four, five. Combine water and sugar in a saucepan. Cover and bring it to a boil, not just a simmer. Oh, cover it. Oh, oh no. Okay. You're good. It says to keep the pan on the heat and then add, not all of it, like a third or a half of the flour. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. It's boiling, I'm panicking. Carefully. <laughs> Cook and stir consistently until it forms a sticky dough. It's bubbling. Okay, it's, it's getting a lot thicker. Ooh. Okay, I think this is the consistency that, you know, we're kind of like getting at here. Ah! No, my phone went on the burner. Oh no. Please be okay, please be okay. You're fine, you're fine. Remove the pan from the heat. Let me turn that off. I'll remove it on the side here and quickly add in the rest of the flour. Okay, so that's just one more fourth cup. Stirring until all the dough comes off of the bottom. Oh, oh, what's going everywhere? Ah! Um, I feel like it was honestly fine before this, but not gonna lie, this looks like a much better consistency than the first one. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. I'm gonna pour it onto our surface now. Oh goodness. That's a disaster. Ooh. 
fine. It's just a little, it's just a little hot. It's, it's okay. It's not that bad. Now it says knead the dough until all the flour is incorporated and form it into a ball. I also hate this texture of the cornstarch and how it feels on my hands. Really do not, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. And my phone just died. So now I don't have the recipe. Oh, great. This is much, much better. Here we go. Here's our boba ball. Do you like it? <laughs> Okay, so now the recipe basically says to start with the shaping. So I'm gonna divide this and now we're gonna go with her <laughs> food coloring. I hope this is okay. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, that's probably way too much. Oh, now how am I supposed to mix this? I'm gonna try my best. It's all over my hands. I am becoming frog. I think I need to add more. This is so streaky. I'm just gonna add like a ton. I don't care anymore. What? This is my natural color, actually. Okay, now this is getting a little bit sticky, which I'm kind of worried about. I'm gonna roll it in the tapioca flour. Oh, which is just not gonna give it the color anymore though. Okay, this is like really sticky now. Like really sticky and I am Shrek, let's maybe start shaping these. I have to make sure that it's gonna fit through the straw though. Oh, they have to be small enough. They have to be so small. Here's one ball. Don't mind my hands. Now we have to make the little eyes. Why is this so hard? I have to make how many of these? Oh, okay. Really don't look at my hands, like really don't, but right? Right? That's so cute. Yeah, Peachy. Oh my goodness, you agree? Oh, it's like to cook out okay. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's gonna fit through the straw though. But like honestly at this point, am I really gonna be concerned about that? Second froggy. Um, it's okay. I don't know how many of these I wanna make. <laughs> this is so time consuming. Ah You're good, you're good. Here's froggy boba number two. Three. And you know the worst part about all of this that I failed to mention? I don't even really like regular tapioca pearls that much. Yeah, like I don't mind them. It's definitely something that I'll have, but I definitely prefer popping boba more. I'm not the biggest fan of like the texture of regular tapioca pearls, so. I could take one sip of this and decide that I just like absolutely hate it. How I even like boba, I don't know. I just like the fruity stuff and I like the popping boba because it's like gushers. Here's number four. God, my hands are just, this is, this is bad. <laughs> Watch them just like fall apart when we cook them because it's not supposed to be sticky. I would actually cry. Making the eyes, making the eyes, rolling the eyes. W would you shake my hand like this? Would you? I think I'm gonna make this last one and I'm gonna try to cook these to see how that goes. And then the reason I bought the popping boba was so I didn't have to make so many froggy bobas. So I could kind of like supplement, you know? Okay, number six. Okay, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna actually wash my hands now. <laughs> Making the water green. So it says after the tapioca balls are formed, coat them with a thin layer of tapioca flour to prevent them from sticking to each other. So I did not do that. So, well, actually let's do the, the eyes first. So here's all of our froggies. Some definitely look better than others. I'm just gonna attempt to just give them little dots. Okay, right. Does not have to be anything too fancy. There's the froggies. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about the tea that I'm gonna make also. So like I said, I'm not really the biggest fan of like milk tea or anything like that. I like fruity teas. I have this like um, strawberry tea. I actually got this as an extra. I ordered like some earrings from a small business and they were like strawberry themed. So they gave me the strawberry tea. And this is perfect because I don't drink tea ever, like ever, ever. So it was gonna be such a waste if I bought like a whole box just to use like one little tea bag for one serving for one video. So shout out to the person who gave me this as an extra in my earrings order. It worked out like actually perfect. So we might as well just like do this, right? So this is gonna be kiwi strawberry um, boba tea. So I think that's pretty cute. Here's the kiwi boba. Here are the little pearls. Let's give them a little taste. Mmm, 
is good. Oh, I'm spilling this absolutely everywhere. <gasps> no, it's on my phone. No, 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 there's kiwi boba juice on my phone. This is not a drill. There's kiwi boba juice on my phone. I would just like to say this one, this has been going just about as well as I thought it would. And you can draw your own conclusions from that. But yeah, the kiwi boba is really, really good. So I'm very excited for that. If all else fails, <gasps> ah! <laughs> no, I accidentally picked up some of my boba pearls, my froggy bobas in this paper towel. And I just totally crushed them. <gasps> I'm sorry. I think I can still save them. They're just gonna be a little bit misshapen. That's okay. Okay, no, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. I'm putting them back into place. It's okay. My boyfriend just got home, so sorry if you hear him in the back. But the water is almost boiling. It's said to do like a really like rolling boil, so I'm gonna make sure that boils as much as possible or gets to like the highest boiling that it can. Okay, I think this is good. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. So I'll look at my stove and I think this is a pretty good boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. And it said to stir to make sure that they don't stick. So let me use a clean spoon and just give it a little bit of a stir. This is, this is definitely like more than enough water, I think. Okay, so now they have to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, while it's cooking, let's work on our tea. I'm gonna put it in this glass mason jar just cause like this is one of my biggest cups and one of my few cups that are just like completely like clear. So I'm gonna put some water in it. I'm just gonna microwave it, whatever. And then I'll put the tea bag in there and let that steep. I don't know how tea bags work. We're just gonna wing it. Okay, I'm gonna microwave that. Our froggy bobas are looking uh, they're looking okay. They're definitely still froggy shaped. Let's take this bad boy out. Let's go ahead and open this. Mmm, that smells good. Uh, that smells really good. Glass is um, too hot for me to touch and I gotta be careful, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and let that steep while we do the rest of this stuff. Ooh, it's turning the water like a color. Everything smells so good. The tea smells so good. The kiwi boba smells so good. And that, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we definitely lost a soldier. I can see two eyeballs floating around. Oh, now I see three eyeballs. No. Okay, just out of precaution, I'm gonna start making <laughs> another round of froggies. Cause I think all of them I think like almost all of them fell apart. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know how to make them like stick more. Maybe if I like don't make extra little balls, maybe if I just like shape it, but I don't know how to shape it. This video might be a fail, you guys. Just like we had to do round two. Oh, by the way, how did our first, yeah, our first dough still looks extru like, like not right. So maybe that's the theme of this whole video is just trying again. This time, instead of making like separate little eyeballs and trying to just press them on. I'm trying to do like more subtle like eyes. It's kind of hard to tell. They're so small, but you'll see. Hopefully these won't fall off. Okay, the timer just went off, so I'm gonna scoop these out. I don't, it's not looking good guys. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's not looking good. Um, none of them survived. Not a single one survived. Um, yeah. Here are my second variations. Here's the tea also steeping. These are like the second variations. I'm gonna just try to pop these in because I want to get at least one that looks like a frog head at least. Okay, so I put the water back up to a boil and I'm just gonna put them in and hope for the best. Like as long as the thought was there, right? Can this count as froggy boba? Do these count as froggy boba? I'm also gonna taste test one. I'll just taste test this little blob that's here. Ooh, they feel kind of sticky. I'm gonna taste test this little blob. Hmm, very sticky. Um, the texture of all of them is just extremely sticky and like j gummy and it's leaving like residue on this thing. Like, I think even if these were shaped like froggies, oh, I think you're supposed to put them in cold water right after you take them out. I think that's what I did wrong. They definitely taste 
okay like i could definitely eat these if they if the texture was okay this tea though i'm so excited about this okay i think it's time to take out the next batch my sd card got full so i have to finish this on my phone so sorry for that i think this is officially a fail <laughs> i think this is officially a fail yeah the, i the, i tried twice and it just doesn't come out good either way. So I'm going to just make the tea and we'll put our failures of froggy bobas in it. And we'll put the popping boba. And you know what? At least we got boba tea at the end of the day. <laughs> this is the uh, mess that I also created. Honestly, not that bad. Honestly, not that bad. So it's a little bit hot. Um, I did make sure to cool down this glass. Let's get some of these bobas. I'm gonna do one nice big scoop. Let's do enough to like cover the bottom. I feel like that's good. Another scoop. How are we looking? Let's do one more scoop. This is a pretty big jar after all. There we go. But I put some ice because the tea is actually <laughs> it's a little bit hot. Since we have the sugar out, I'll put some sugar in it. Am I sticking my hand directly in the sugar? Yes. Yes, I am. Don't worry about it. Mind your business. I don't care if I'm getting sugar everywhere. I don't care if my hands are dirty. I failed at making frog boba, okay? I can do whatever I want. Oh yeah, the frog boba pearls. Sure. These can go in here. Oh wait, they're super sticky because I messed them up. Oh no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> Oh my god, please. Oh, okay, there's one. And these are the ones that I actually rinsed in cold water too. Guys, it counts as frog boba because we're using green popping boba and because of these. These are green, so it means it's frog, okay? Do I even bother putting this in? You know what, I'm not. They're like way bigger. They're definitely not gonna go through the straw. Look at this like sticky residue, that's disgusting. Okay, I also just noticed that the tea bag completely fell in here. So, you know, like that's, that's just great. Here's our boba straw. And also, yes, that's a piece of pretzel that's on the counter in case you were wondering. Wow, guys, frog boba, frog boba. Look at the little froggies swimming around in there. Wow, the ice melted really fast. Wow, look at the froggies. Look at the froggies swimming around. Oh, look at them go. Let's try it at least. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's probably better if I don't say my true opinion on this. Um, I will just say I'm not a tea person and I thought I put a lot of sugar, but I don't think I did. How much sugar is too much? Asking for a friend. somehow that somehow made it worse i think i'm done <laughs> i think i think i'm done i've been bested by boba yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it especially since this was so bad um yeah thank you so much for 400k subscribers anyways regardless of my failure at least I have you guys, and you guys don't make me feel like a failure. Only the boba makes me feel like a failure. I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.